Hi, I'm Alex Paul, and I'd like to welcome you to another episode of People and Products, the podcast on uh, people and products for embedded computing design. I'm here with Donna Moore. She's the CEO of the LoRa Alliance, and we're here at Laura Wan Live in Berlin right now. Isn't this a fun show? It is a great show, yes, yes. Well, I'm really glad you're here. I mean, you're the CEO, you're busy as heck, I imagine, so I'm really glad you took the time to talk to us today. Yes, you're welcome. Uh, this is our fourth year anniversary, so it's both a showcase as well as keynotes and uh, demonstrations about the growth that's happened over the last four years. In particular, even the last one year. <laughs> well, there's been a tremendous amount of growth recently. I mean, I've been to the earlier shows and this one, and I know your fifth is going to be huge. Huge. It's going to be in Paris, uh, probably in June again, and we're looking at 2,000, 3,000, 5,000 uh, people attending the conference. So it'll be great. That will be great, Donna. Now, isn't, what I love about this whole aspect of this industry is it's such a new, fresh group of people doing really interesting really interesting things with LoRa technology. Yep, there is. And I think if you had to slice it into categories, the technology is new and interesting, but it's also needed and uh, very purposeful in, as far as impacting the lives and well-being of every aspect of human health and welfare. So everything from safety, work safety, uh, animal preservation, you know, increased crop yields. Uh, we're looking at... Um, just all kinds of real life transformations. Now, of course, business transformation, uh, increasing the bottom line, efficiencies, effectiveness, uh, machine, preventative maintenance. So business is why we're here, but at the end of the day, many of the use cases we have really benefit human health and welfare, which makes me feel good. It's not just the technology, there's a purpose behind it. Well, this is true. I mean, it's, and I'm a very people person. My audience knows my philosophy is, you know, when it comes to technology, a tree could deafen every animal in the forest, and if a human didn't hear it, it didn't make a noise. The solution has to provide a value to people, or right. it's just engineering uh, show-off. Right, and it's you know it's about the data. So so, a LoRaWAN is really now the de facto standard globally. Uh, we have millions and millions of devices in the market, and we're scaling every single day, and the use cases are growing every single day. So, uh, yeah, the growth is just tremendous. Now, what are some of the barriers to growth? I understand that, I mean, you're, it's a new system, you're spreading. What are some of the obstacles you're finding? What are some of the stumbling blocks you have to overcome? Well, uh, so far, there's our, our, our technology is best in breed, right? And 75% of the mass IoT use cases around the world are in our exact sweet spot, right? They're uh, wireless battery, long-term battery, uh, long range, penetrating between deep walls and underground. And so those use cases, which again, represent 75% of the market, are huge. And in four years, we're in 140 countries. We have over 100 uh, public network operators in addition to the private network operators. Uh, we have, like I said, millions of devices out there. So it's what are the barriers right now? It's full steam ahead and it's the market pulling us. We're at the right time, at the right market with the right technology. And again, there's a business solution, but there's also a human health and welfare a piece of it. So it's driving hard. I mean. I wouldn't say right now that uh, there's a lot of barriers. We have over 500 members, gigantic ecosystem. Well, I, I was more referring to like the fact that you're international and the fact you have to deal with different protocols and different standards and the like. So, so far it's been pretty uh, smooth sailing then I gather in that space. Unbelievably so. So we have a, a protocol, which is the lower end protocol, and it is a global protocol. And we have members, again, from all over the world that are implementing this protocol. And uh, no, I mean, I, I, people ask all the time, what are the big barriers? And I'm like, uh, moving really fast and trying to make sure that as an organization, you know, we are uh, constantly looking ahead. I've got a very strong board that is strategic, and we have large members that are joining. We have, I have six more very, very large companies that will be joining by the end of the year, but companies, you know, like Google and Tencent and Simtech and Cisco and, I mean, it's a large ecosystem from chip all the way to solution, which helps the consumers because when they look at what is our next level of, of technology, growing the technology, growing the standard, we really look at it from all aspects, the integrators, the security, the chip designers. Um, and so we really get a really clear picture of customer need. Got it. 
Do you have any last words for our audience before we let you go? Well, I'll just say thanks to everyone that's come today. It's been a great event, actually overwhelming that everybody just is talking about the growth and expansion for each of their companies. So we look forward to next year uh, in Paris. It'll be great. Thank look you. At, see you there. Thank you, Donna. Okay. Is that okay?